Hello and welcome to Mirror Match, the show where we debate the most divisive topics in gaming from both sides of the spectrum. Correct, and today we are hammering out which is better, cel-shaded, cartoony, pixelated art style, really stylized games, or photorealistic stuff. Personally, I love me some cartoons. Well, for me, it's basically a freaking deal breaker. I see something like Wind Waker, Fortnite, Overwatch, and no matter how good the game is, I just can't get immersed in it. It looks like it's something for kids. Dude, you said the same thing when we were arguing about whether or not Fortnite should be considered as good as PUBG. And I'll say the same thing I said to you back then. Grow up. Okay, first of all, telling someone to grow up when they disagree with you is not really a great argument. And even if it was, I could just say that back to you. Like I said, it looks like it's for kids. You should grow up. Play something for adults. Okay, but here's the thing, buddy. You're not 16 anymore. Nobody's gonna judge you or call you a sissy if you play something with actual personality. Yeah, but like, for me, if that personality is Disney, I'm not down. Look, the fact of the matter is, these games just hold up so much better over time. You look at something like Wind Waker and you compare it to something like Twilight Princess, Everyone pissed and moaned when they saw Wind Waker first because it didn't look realistic. And now, when you look at it today, it still looks gorgeous, especially compared to the gritty realisticness of uh, Twilight Princess, which looks like hot garbage. Yeah, but it's still like, it feels like it takes itself more seriously. And that's important to how I immerse myself in a game. So if it takes itself seriously, but looks like ass, that's your trade-off? No, I want it to look good. That's like the whole point. I, I want it to look good, but I want it to look serious. Yeah, but in like two or three years, it's just gonna look like ass again. Who cares? In five or six years, I'm gonna be playing the new games. I don't play games today that came out five or six years ago. I'm playing the games that came out last week. I want to play the new shit. Okay, well, that actually segues nicely into my next argument that's gonna completely blow your freaking mind. Yeah, I guess I'm ready to have my mind blown. Okay, well, are you ready? Because here it goes. An obsession with realistic cutting age graphics is ruining the video game industry. I say, bullshit. Okay, let me guess why, because it's taking resources away from better gameplay mechanics or more innovative storytelling, some bullshit like that? Nope, not even, although that's not technically wrong. If half of the resources that were spent making Battlefront 2 and Shadow of Mordor look pretty were, went into the gameplay, uh, we'd have more to play around this time at Christmas. Um, but no, good try. Okay, so if not that, then what? Um, an over-reliance on cutting-age, beautiful graphics is actually allowing these giant companies to have a monopoly on the market. Because it takes so many resources to make the graphics look so good, indie developers, with a few exceptions, like the guys who made Senua's Sacrifice this year, uh, they just can't keep up. So, like I said, it allows these companies to monopolize the industry. Yeah, but like, so what? Like, big Big studio movies, big budget movies always have the nicest effects, uh, like indie, and indie movies don't. Like Everyone knows that and everyone accepts it. I don't get your point. It's because all of the other evils of the industry that you find yourself complaining about on a daily basis, like DLC, loot boxes, season passes, all of that crap, that is sold to you along with the graphics. If you didn't care about how sweet these new games looked, if you didn't care about what games looked the best this year, because if you look at them, they're all the AAA games, then you wouldn't have to buy along with DLC loot boxes, all the stuff we mentioned. They're selling it to you behind the veneer of pretty graphics. Okay. So what you're saying is that because I like my games to look realistic, then I am complicit in all of the evils of the video game industry. No, what I'm saying is that if you take away this one advantage that the AAA studios have, you actually take away a lot of their power. If you think that all of the things that the EAs, the Ubisofts, and even the Nintendos are doing are evil, you gotta start to wonder why are people consistently giving them their money? Look man, I just, I just don't want to be demonized for my own personal preference. <sighs> okay, that's fair. Can we maybe just end on a high note by agreeing that you have terrible taste? I hate you.
Thanks for watching Mojo Plays. Be sure to subscribe and click on the link in the description below to check out our suggestion page and vote on what content you'd like to see us cover next.